All right, what the hell is going on? Today I'm gonna to be making album covers on the laser. And I've been doing this for a while now. I have some back at school, but I'm gonna make some more because I'm home for a break. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're walking out to the shed right now because I'm gonna check on the laser printer, which um, I'm making a video now about these album cover things that I'm making. A couple hours ago, I started the uh, Astro World album cover here, Driver Scott. Uh, yep. I'm gonna show you how to set this up on this laser. It can probably do the, replicate the same process for other lasers. It's pretty simple. The material I'm using here is um, MDF. It's like a very thin MDF. It works out really well. And then I put a spray coat um, finish on. Probably, I should probably make the shed have better ventilation, but that's okay. I'm gonna open the rest of this door. So it Wait, this is the Orator, I don't know how you say it, Laser Master 2. I'm engraving some album covers. I have a lot more back at school, but I just didn't uh, take them down off the wall. Uh, I've done this for today. I'm gonna start another one and have it go overnight. Um, normally I keep this on the table, but sometimes, you know, the way you fiddle around with the laser, sometimes like if you're trying to get a, a, a side piece, you can move it out, but then you have like, it's elevated. So I put this other piece of MDF here. I moved it out this way so I can use this entirety of that board. So you'll see. All right, so this is what I've been doing. I've been going on Google. I've been searching up the album that I want. Uh, usually I pick an album that has not a lot of black in it uh, because I'll show you, you go to save image as, see that where I right click save image as, save it, download it here in the Gerbil file, open file, and then click the album cover. And now you can change a bunch of parameters. I have my quality at four lines per millimeter with this thing. And I usually do the black and white. Now I can change how much black and white it is. See, the thing is like, if you do one with, um, there you go, see like, and then you just, you can try this lighter thing. That right there is a the perfect amount. So now I see it has a lot of details on it. If it's got a lot of details, then it'll come out looking nice. Like, uh, let's see, this one has a lot of details on it. It came out look real nice. Start as this one and this one. If you got a lot of black, it'll come out just, I mean, it'll just be burning. So it'll be, just be black. But uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There's been cases of things that I've done that come out good, pretty good. And I'm going to try another one. I ran out of wood though, so I got to get some more tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, you just go next. And then mine is square. So I have it on 280, 280, 280 millimeters by 280 millimeters. So that's about 11 inches by 11 inches. Great. That's a pretty good size. Uh, especially if we can put them on the wall and some stuff. So now I'm gonna move the laser around. So here I'm going to just scoot this over this way. And I'm gonna fill up this, this Squarespace right here. Squarespace, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Uh, this video is sponsored by um, Elon Musk. Just kidding. And it's probably going to need to be adjusted a bit more. So you can turn the light on with this button with that. You got the little light pointer dot for your laser beam. Not bright, uh, so you can look at it. So then you just click this button. Looks like it's pretty good. This button, and it'll do the outline. I think it's set up pretty good. Go ahead and start the uh, outline. See if that's any better. Okay, there we go. It's got the thing set up. I got the outline traced out. I'm going to go ahead and just hit start and get out of the shed. I wake up tomorrow morning and it should be done, hopefully. Nothing bothers it, so I'm gonna hit start and then get going right now. And let's get the hell out of here. Okay, these came out great. So now it's time to cut them out. Uh, I usually cut out, use the bandsaw, and I usually just cut them out right around the corner of the edge right here. Then I'm gonna spray on gloss clear uh, coat just to seal them up and protect the print. And All right, got them all cut out, got the corners sanded down nice and beautifully, yep. And got them sanded a bit. And I don't, I don't really sand them too much because see right here, you can see this is what happens when you sand it a little too hard. Um, it starts wearing out, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. This is MDF, so I'm not using any polyurethane or anything like that. For this particular type, I've uh, seen that it gets it really nice and good after a couple coats. MDF tucks it in quite a lot, so you can go, I usually go pretty close and pretty thick on the second, and usually dry, the coat's dry like in like three seconds. So it just soaks right in, so. As it gets more and more on the top, it takes a bit longer, but I'll come back over here now. It's just to protect the laser too, by the way. It doesn't really give it like a shine. It kind of darkens it a bit, but. 
Okay, that's how you make album covers with the laser master two uh, laser thing that I have. I uh, you, you can probably repl replicate this on any laser. Um, but yeah, these are just 11 by 11, and um, it take about two and a half hours each, depending on the how much uh, burning it is. Uh, like I said earlier, the, if you have a lot of black in the album or whatever you're printing, it's going to take a lot longer because you're just burning it. Uh, it's MDF, so they um, the clear coat dry pretty well. And you could sand these down and do them again and it'll, you'll get them smoother. But like, as of now, these are looking good. But yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna have lots more stuff like this coming out. I'm building a couple of tables. I'm also working on a boat and we have a Jeep. We're gonna try to get rid of that. Also need to finish some other stuff up, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you later.